Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about physical media. And in particular, physical media is so much bigger than just what you see behind me. Blu-rays, DVDs, movies and television. So stick around and you might learn a thing or two about physical media that you may have known, but you may get an idea of how broad it can be. So thanks for joining me again, guys. As I mentioned, today I'm gonna to be talking about physical media being broader than just movies and television on DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, Laserdisc, anything that you'd play as video. Now, so many of us have grown up on stuff like CDs, which is a form of physical media. I've got a couple select here. So one of my favorites is Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die album. Now this I imported back in the day, I'm sure it's went up in value now. This is one of the original pressings from the original run, prior to the lawsuit where they had to change a lot of the samples. And you can see the artwork is a bit different in this one, but I needed to have the original pressing of that. It was something that the original sound of the album changed after the lawsuits in the early 2000s, where a lot of the samples had to be removed for like machine gun funk and so 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 on like that. And other albums like Wu-Tang Clan's 36 Chambers and The Blueprint from Jay-Z, legendary albums, but what I don't show on the channel is my broad CD collection, which I've got off to my side here. My CD collection is off to the side. And I do have a broad gaming collection as well. So it can be CDs, it can be movies. It can be a lot of different formats that mean physical media. Another physical media is books. And I'm not, I'll admit, I'm not the biggest reader. I can read books, but it's got to be a really good book for me to sit down and read it. One book that I have in my collection is Ric Flair, To Be The Man. This book was very big in the 2000s, early 2000s. And I remember the first time I saw this, I was like, I have to have this in my collection for significant reasons. Now, obviously, you can say what you will about Ric Flair, but he is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. And I do consider this a piece of physical media that I need in my collection. It's a compliment to the DVDs. It's a compliment to everything else. I also have a manga collection for Dragon Ball Z. I like to read the manga and compare things. So often when we come on YouTube, we talk about physical media as if it's just movies and television, Blu-rays and DVDs, laser discs, VHS. We think it's just the movie and TV aspect. We don't often talk about even vinyl being in the conversation. There is a lot of physical media out there and so often we lose track of physical media being broader than just television and movies. So when I talk about physical media, I am a collector of vast physical media. I collect all formats. I collect formats you've never even heard of, like VCD, you may have heard of VCD, but I collect that. I collect Laserdisc. I am trying to get my hands on some Betamax. I'm trying to collect more of everything. I like to have formats to preserve it. There's even things that I don't consider to be physical media because it doesn't have anything written to it. Like I've got some floppy disks from back in the day, a pack of brand new floppy disks that I've preserved. I've bought them when I saw them really cheap and I was like, I have to have them in the collection because they are a product of history. They are a physical media from the past. And I've got micro SD cards dating back to the Nokia days that only have 64 megabytes of storage on them. They are physical. They are something. Now you might say, that's not physical as physical media, that's something. It's a physical device that you can hold in your hands. And I believe in having multiple forms of media. There are people who have games on floppy disks from back in the day. Like, that's one thing I liked about um, Last Gamer when he was around. He was talking about the collection and the old days of putting floppy disks in. So, what I'm saying is physical media can be more vast than just movie and television. And are you guys a bit annoyed that we keep constantly ignoring it? Are you a bit annoyed that we don't mention CDs enough, that we don't mention books enough, that we don't mention everything else? So, so many different formats. I don't have a place that, that my CDs are set up, but I've definitely got a lot of CDs. Let me know guys in my comments and I will try to get back to you in the comments when I have a moment and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.